Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment, it's your boy Marvin. We're going to be talking about a uh, Foxy Brown testifying in Tupac's murder. Uh, the question Napoleon asks is, what if she, don't admit, Keith D was in Vegas? Let's get straight into the video. Yeah, that's a good question. But you heard about how the prosecutors, they want Foxy Brown to testify at Tupac murder trial as a witness? Yeah, what type of what type of witness, though? As an eyewitness. They want her to place Keefe D in Vegas tonight, Tupac. Because you already know, you know, Keefe D, he claimed in his book that, you know, she was in Vegas that night. Because basically they say if, if there's no one that's seen him there, that they, he can prove that he wasn't in Vegas. Like, So that's why I said when it comes to these twists, when it comes to these things, you never know with the system in America because... You are judged by your peers, you know what I mean? Um, so it's different that one of the things that I realized in the USA, and I, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going I'm to try to um, compare it because I live in Saudi Arabia now. I'm going to try to compare it with the scary Sharia law that everybody hear the word Sharia get afraid. But it just shows me how the perfection of Sharia law because in our religion, for example, is so perfected when it comes to judging if a person say in Islam that a girl committed fornication or a boy committed fornication, okay? And um, if you don't have four witnesses, meaning that you have four witnesses who are trustworthy witnesses who actually seen them in the act, then you can't, nothing can happen to them. Their honor is protected. But in America, you can take a person to court. Even if they have witnesses, they have a certain amount of clout they can get out. Or they being judged by individuals who they just send a subpoena, come to court and be a jury. He could have been in a nightclub drinking. He could have been in a stripper club last night. This one could have smoked crack this morning. But they have, they, your freedom is on their hands. That's scary. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. The thing is, Keefe D was his own worst enemy by speaking out. Um about being places he shouldn't have been and saying too much thinking that it was all in the past sometimes some people can't help but talking about something which happened a murder of somebody else someone always comes out i know a lot of the the people that were involved some of them have died or are not around anymore but there's always one key information which is uh keefe d who um said too much which the <laughs> police got involved but we still don't know the full story and yet this case goes on and on and on um to his murder and now foxy brown uh may or suppose he will testify in tupac's murder it gets it's it, it you know sometimes you want closure on this so this guy can rest in peace you know gary you know what i mean like your freedom so a person can just go in there and feel like there's not, nothing that they're afraid of to make them, you know, be just and unjust because you're dealing with normal people that you don't even know if they're honor, honorable people or if they're honest people, you know what I mean? Um, if they don't have any agenda. So that's why in America you have a lot of people saying that the, 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 the judicial system is broken. You know what I mean? Because a person can say he's in the car and killed this and this and that. But per uh, then somebody else can say, well, we didn't see him that day, so it's out of it. But he said it on his own words. So this is this is when it comes to the courts in America. That's why I'm never surprised. But whatever happened will happen. I won't be surprised. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's real talk. But I mean, you know, it does make sense the youth has a witness. I mean, everybody else is dead. Von Zip, he dead. Everybody that was in the white Cadillac is dead. You know, Orlando, Terrence Brown, Big Dre. So, I mean, it makes sense the youth has a witness. I mean, who else you gonna mm. use? And what happened if she doesn't want to do it? That's why, you know, what if she say, I don't want nothing to do with this stuff. She probably a family man. I mean, she, I'm a, a family lady now, not man. <laughs> she might have a man. She might be married. She might have kids. And you know what I mean? Where you forcing someone to do something with, you know what I mean? Like they might be uncomfortable with because, you know, it's not like, you know how the system is in America, even the street code and these type of things that it's, it's, it's a very tricky situation. You know what I mean? Because I look at it like, a person himself snitched. Like, why do you need anybody else? He said he was in Vegas at night. So while, while, like, he said he was in Vegas at night, 
Why do you need Foxy Brown? His, his words should be enough. So what, what makes Foxy Brown words more legitimate than the man words himself? You know what I mean? So I, that's why I said the system just broken, bro. It's funny. The, the American system, because this is an individual that said it himself multiple times. You know what I mean? He openly said these things. Like, I think... This is what he said. He openly said these things. Um... So, Keefe D was born June the 14th, 1963, is an American gangster. In 2023, he was charged with involvement in the 1996 murder of Tupac Shakur. Um, but obviously, it wasn't proven. Three hours before Shakur shooting, on the night of the September the 7th, 1996 in Orlando, Anderson was involved in a fight with Shakur as it uh, is entourage at the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas. In September, Las Vegas homicide, Lieutenant Larry uh, Spinoza told the media at this point, Orlando Anderson is not a suspect in the shooting of Tupac Shakur. Eventually, in the investigation, and Anderson was named as a, sus a suspect along with his uncle. Stories circulated on the streets that Anderson bragged about shooting the rapper, which she denied in an interview to Vibe magazine later. So that's a little bit... Uh, about Keefe D and um, what happened on that night. But nothing was resolved for so many years later. This might be the first time in history where a so-called gangster snitched on themselves, bro. Like, this is... Like, he openly snitched on himself. So it's not like... i never seen anything like this. You know what I mean? i never seen anything like this, man. I got... You know, I come. We, it's just a different environment. He come from a. He come from a. a, a I can say ahead of me. He come from a, a time where he lived before I lived. He older than me. You know what I mean. So before I was born, he probably was already running the streets. So the people back in the day were just cut from different cloths. It was different codes. Um, there's certain things I won't even say about people I grew up with, or certain things that because I know from the code that they don't even want it to be known. You know what I mean. So, but this individual really told on himself like i don't think you ever seen anything like this <laughs> yeah it's crazy but um uh one of the reasons why he said he'd done it because uh he revealed that he was dying of, con uh, dying of cancer on july 2nd 2018 davis confessed to having a role in the killing of tupac shakur after revealing he was dying of cancer he went on to say he was the passenger in the white Cadillac on the night of the incident. He refused to name the other suspect in the car, but confirmed that the shooter was Orlando Anderson, his nephew, and it, it was out of retaliation for getting jumped at the MGM Grand earlier and for one million bounty by Puff Daddy. Wow. On September the 29th, 2023, David was taken into custody by the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police in connection with the murder. A house owned by wife nearby uh, Henderson, Nevada, had been raided by police on July the 17th, 2023. Police documented stated that they were looking for items con concerning the murder of Tupac Shakur in the raid. David was held without bail and charged with murder. He pleaded not guilty on November the 2nd, 2023 in Las Vegas. On November the, se the 7th, 2023, Judge Carl uh, Kearney, uh, sorry, Carly Kearney for the Clark County District Court scheduled for Davis trial to begin on June the 3rd, 2024. On January the 9th, 2024, during the court status, Chet Davis granted $750,000 bail and allowed, uh, allowed out under house arrest. During the hearing, prosecutors alleged that Davis in October 2000 recorded jailhouse phone call with his son authorized the execution of witness witnesses who might testify against him at a trial davis attorney claims they misinterpreted the conversation the judge ordered another status check for february the 20th 2024 during the february 20th 20, 20, 2024 status check it was agreed that David's trial would be delayed until November the 4th, 2024. The pre-trial hearing for Davis was on April the 23rd, 2024, presented what was believed to be the last batch of evidence sought by prosecutions. Despite being granted bail and house arrest, Davis remains incarcerated at the Clark County Detention Centre. Wow. 
so basically this case still goes on and it's going to be the actual try this trial is going to start later on this year I mean, like so whatever comes his way comes his way he can't really blame nobody you know whatever comes his way comes his way he can't blame no one but but himself at this particular time and this is why you know social media likes um wanting fame is a very dangerous situation because you know psychologically like people get depressed they, they did studies and say when people don't get in they don't get certain likes on their instagram page for example they get depressed like the social media had made people want to live for social media fame for people that don't you don't even know these people like you doing interviews the people you're never going to meet these individuals a day in your life they're not putting no food on your table they're not paying your bills but you worried about pleasing these individuals to the point that a person will put themselves in jail i i never seen anything like that bro yeah so um that's the end of the video wow um it's pretty deep that um, this case is still looked been into. Look, um, I think this case will be closed, uh, to be honest with you. I think Keefe D, I think it is the truth from what he said at the end of the day. And the family will finally get closure on this. But this should have been dealt with years and years ago. It really, really should. Um, Keefe D basically convicted himself and whoever was with him on that night as well. It's sad. Um, very, very sad because Tupac was very, very talented. He was someone that I truly respected and looked up to as a youngster. And But like I said, life goes on. But at least the family will get closure and we can move on from this. Um, it's funny how P. Diddy's name was uh, basically the one that um, basically said that he wants to get rid of of um, Tupac Shakur by using other people to do that. So it even shows how much power P. Diddy's got back in those days. Uh, it's unbelievable. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and follow the channel. Thank you, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for the old subscribers and the new subscribers.